let's compare Python to JavaScript for web scraping. So the first thing we're gonna do is find something to scrape. For us, that's gonna be Hacker News. Next, let's scrape the title of the number one Hacker News article. In order to do that, we're gonna need the class of the DOM node. Let's make sure we copy that to our clipboard. Now let's install the scraping libraries we wanna use. For JavaScript, that's gonna be Puppeteer. And for Python, we'll use Beautiful Soup. So now let's close out of our terminals and start coding these up. We'll start by bringing in the respective libraries, Puppeteer for JavaScript and Beautiful Soup for Python, as well as requests for Python. Next, let's bring in the URLs that we're looking to scrape. Now let's finish off this JavaScript side. We'll create a function called web scrape and create a variable called browser. This will launch Puppeteer for us. Next, we'll create a variable called page, which will create a new browser page. Then we'll go to that page, passing in that URL. Next, we'll create a variable called content and use the dollar sign eval to pass in that story link class name and get the inner text from the element. Finally, we'll console.log that content. And we don't want to forget to close the browser once we're done. Now we can call web scrape, open up a terminal, and run the program. And here we see we get the title back. Now let's see how this looks in Python. We're going to create a rec variable, passing in the URL to request.get. Then we're going to call beautiful soup, and we're going to pass in rec.content along with html.parse. Finally, we'll print out soup.find, passing in the anchor tag and the class that we're looking for, along with the dot text to get the text from it. Now let's call this. As you can see, we get the same title back.